Keep the heat. You may want to head up north to Prescott. It's the latest city on our everywhere from A to Z tour, and one of the places that you have to check out is the Elks Theater. Team 12's Brian West took a tour that exemplifies the saying, what's old is new again. It is a restored historic treasure. Nestled in downtown Prescott is more than a century old building filled with history and art. Even though it opened as the Elks Opera House in 1905, by 1910 it was known as the Elks Theater. Maxine Dillahunty is the docent coordinator. She dresses in period clothing from the Civil War era to the early 20th century or Titanic era. Clothing she hand makes. My preference is turn of the century. Then you had big sleeves, nipped waist, A-line skirts, much more flattering to the figure. Maxine gives tours and knows the ins and outs of this notable landmark. Like when the theater opened, 900 people could cram inside. That number now cut in half to offer more space to patrons. 500 people can sit comfortably in the auditorium to watch plays, movies from a projector, and live cover bands. We have Elvis, uh, Johnny Cash, recently had uh, Led Zeppelin, which was a wild night, <laughs> and a sellout, I might say. The lineup for July includes Garth Brooks, Bobby Darin, and Carol King impersonators, where tourists and locals pack the seats and enjoy the nostalgia. We are one of the oldest hemp theaters, and hemp being the rope that raises and lowers the curtain. The theater also houses some unique shops, an old-fashioned barber shop, and a performance center for actors and dancers to practice. The building has had many acts, but continues to impress those who head up north. In Prescott, Brian West, 12 News.